Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Michael Androsky, and it's time to do the first of the many um, double features that we did in, in a long time. The last time I did this was back in January or before Christmas of 2022, and now I'm going to show you both the unboxing and my what I got from High Fever in uh, York Beach, Maine. So first off, I'm going to show you what's for the unboxing so we can get that out of the way because it just uh, came in from the mail and... Uh, and mainly what they were is the same with the uh as you can see for one second if i want to show you something real fast uh the i think it was the two other jews priest uh cds i've gotten in the past video which is a few days ago those things i unboxed last week if you want to see it again if not check in the uh, other videos which is submitted by jews priest which came out in 2007 and last but not least, Breaking the Law, which came out in 2001, which is the uh, first Jewish Priest album to be released in the new millennium in 2001. And what about now? I'm going to do the next unboxing for my Jewish Priest CD collection. We're going to do that first off, and then we're going to do what's in the high fever bag. So let's open it up and see what we have. And my grandmother said I have three packages, but this is two, so... Obviously, one is missing or something like that. So, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start off with the paper and see what we can do with the first, well, the fourth package, I should say. Wait, one. Yeah, I think this is the fourth package or something. Yeah, I still buy seven more CDs in my collection. As long as we use. Okay, anyway, moving on. The first package we have is Battle Cry Live at the Vulcan Festival. During the Redeemer of Souls Tour 2015. So there's another bumper sticker. Yep, it's my first copy of Battle Cry. And this is used. So this is pretty cool. Let's see what's in the uh, inside part. Oh, of course. They're going to put the CD in, on, in the front face down. Oh, it's, this is pretty cool. Um, That's the picture of the Vulcan stage from 2015, um, I should say. Yeah, 2015. So, we're going to show you that CD right now. This is the CD, which is Jewish Priest Battle Cry. And the last unboxing I'm going to show you is the last one for now. I got two more coming in, but I, I only have like, what, five? Or if not, six. Yeah, I think I got five in total so far. So, next last two should be coming in any time. So it's not even the last uh, three CDs we have in this package yeah, or something. So let's see. Oh, and I'm sorry if you hear a little bit of yelling. Uh, we just came back home and there's been an issue with my family. So that's another reason why I haven't made any videos in a while. But but due to circumstances, um, I'm not even going to talk about it at all. It's, it's going to make that worse. And I like talking about negative stuff on YouTube. All right. I do not know why this is not opening correctly, but I'll get it to open somehow. If I have to get a scissors, and that's the case. All right, the last package we have is we have delivering the goods from ooh another new millennial album from two thousand three. Which is uh, Delivering the Goods. Pretty cool album, I should say. And yeah, I don't know why the uh, the crack was here. But, oh, cool. It's got, you got another thing coming at the first uh, track until Metal Meltdown. So, another rarity album I got from Jewish Priest we have is Delivering the Goods from 2003. And this is the... Uh, I think I should say the first or first uh, Jewish Priest CD to be released after Wob Halford came back to the band and to have a tour in 2004 until the uh, Rise in the East Rise in the East concert. So that will include the unboxing, which we have is two new Jewish Priest CDs. And again, I will be doing a CD collection update in a little bit. But we have is. For right now, Battle Cry from 2015 and Delivering the Goods from 20, I mean, Delivering the Goods from 2003. Finally, I'm going to show you the most perf awesome um, 
item that I got in Metallica, which I got in my favorite place to shop in York Beach. And that is High Fever. So I got this for $20. Total was 3164 taxes. And 36 cents I got back in change. And this is right here. It's a, uh, hang on. I ate heavy food, so I have to go to the bathroom after, so I won't say it again. So, this right here is a Metallica baseball jersey. Pretty cool, huh? And it says, now that we're dead, and this is nothing on the back, just a black and white uh, sleeve thing. So, and it's pretty cool. It's got a little bit of a fame effect, which is pretty cool. And I think I saw a couple more Meta of these Metallica uh baseball jerseys that look look similar to this but there's one with the uh the brain course crash course and brain surgery which is well well most of the metallica shirts that they have put out over the years since the 80s or not the 80s and the 90s are really hard to find and wear but this is a good metallica rarity i can find this is now now that we're dead and it has the nomad skull with the two m's on it so we have that and that would do it for the double feature for tonight ladies and gentlemen we have the two unboxing videos two unboxing cds and the shirt from the what i got video for today which is june uh 10th 11th 2023 and that'll do it for the video thank you very much for watching the video once again i'll show you the items once again from high fever we got metallica's now that we're dead uh short and lastly for the unboxing for june 11th 2023 yeah june 11th 2023 we have is two jewish priest cities we have is delivering the goods from 2003 and finally battle cry from the 2015 walk-in festival in germany and that my friends will do for the video thank you very much for watching and i'll be back right back to do the jewish priest city collection update as of right now so Stay tuned. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Vlog you later.